Hi, so this week we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about seasons and colors of the church year. So we're going to learn a few big words. And one of the first words that we're going to learn is pyramids. Can you say that with me? Pyramids. So what pyramids are, are they're just a big word to talk about the things that we put on the lectern and the pulpit. So the lectern is where we have the readings from the Bible read uh, by pastor and other uh, volunteer readers. And then the pulpit is where pastor uh, speaks God's words to us uh, through Bible text and what how that applies to us. And then another um, pyramid that we have is one that's on the altar. You can see it behind me. So what these are, are we put them up um, and there's different colors for each church year. Um, and the colors help to remind us what we are celebrating um, during the time of the church year. We have green, we have red, we have blue, purple, black, and white. Well, today we're going to be talking about the white pyramids because it's the season of Christmas right now and will be uh, a couple of feast days, which is when we also have white in the church year. Now, before we had the white up this time, can you try and remember what color uh, they were in church before? Think really hard. It might be hard to remember. So they were blue. Some churches might, they might be purple, but ours were blue. And the reason why they were blue is because we were in the season of Advent. And Advent comes before what holiday? That's right. It comes before Christmas. And they were blue because blue stands for the color of hope or represents hope. And in Advent, we are celebrating the hope that we have in Jesus as God fulfills his promise to send his Savior to earth as a human and a, as a baby. And then um, we also celebrate the hope that we have uh, in preparing for when Jesus comes again. And so now we are having white color of pyramids. And that is because we celebrate Christmas. And Christmas, the color white, represents joy. And it's not only just joy, but it also, um, we remember uh, Jesus as God, also his purity. And purity is just another word here for uh, Jesus being sinless. Uh, when we celebrate the color white for us, we remember how we are um, washed clean from our sins. Our sins are not counted against us because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. And so uh, we remember the season of Christmas and the joy of Christmas and Jesus coming by having the color white. Now, you might be saying, but Christmas is just one day and we're already done with Christmas. Well, I don't know about you, but it's hard to pack all the joy of Christmas into just one day. And it's hard to pack all the important readings for Christmas into just one day. So Christmas, the season of Christmas in the church year, starts on Christmas Day, but it goes for 12 days after that. It's kind of how you hear um, the phrase, the 12 days of Christmas. Well, in the church year, it's because of the 12 days starting from Christmas Day, the 25th of December, to 12 days after, to January 5th. That is the season of Christmas in the church year. And then if you look here in the next uh, week or so after that, you'll notice that these are still white, even though it's been more than 12 days after Christmas. Well, that is because we celebrate special days in the church year where um, the pyramids can also be white. 
Um, some of those are feast days. One of the important, or two of the important days that we celebrate is called Epiphany. And Epiphany is where the wise men come and visit Jesus. And it's really important, and we have so much joy on that day. Because back in the Old Testament, God had one chosen people. Do you remember who they were? They were the Israelites. And so God had one um, group of people. Well, the Magi, or the wise men that come to visit Jesus, are not um, God's original chosen people. They are not Israelites. They are called Gentiles. Well, we celebrate with joy because when the wise men come to worship Jesus, they, we remember how Jesus came to save all people, not just the Israelites, but he came to save everyone who believed in him uh, and were sorry for their sins. And then uh, Jesus forgives us for that. I uh, remember Christ alone and scripture alone um, in all of that that we celebrated on Reformation Day a couple months ago. So that's why we have white. And another day that we'll be coming up on that we'll talk about here next time is the baptism of Jesus. We have the color white for that too because of the joy. And also um, when Jesus is baptized, it's not because he is uh, repenting of his own sin, but because he is doing what God the Father wanted um, God the Son to uh, do what was foretold by the prophets. And you might wonder, well, I've seen white at other times than Christmas. That's because the color white is joy and also purity and being free from sin. And God, the Son, and his um, divinity, his power, and his eternal life, we also celebrate that during another really special season in the church year. Can you think of what that is? It's the one really big day of the year other than Christmas. That's right, it's Easter. So you'll also see white during Easter because remember white represents the colors or the color white helps us to remember the joy that we have in Jesus and also helps us to remember Jesus, his power and also um, why he came to earth, which was to save us from our sins by being sinless. And so that's just a little bit into why we have different colors on the altar and where pastor speaks in the pulpit and where other people read um, the word of God, the Bible, and the lectern is because they help us to remember the different times of year in the church year. So next time we'll be talking about the baptism of Jesus. So I encourage you to join me then. Um, but for now, will you pray with me? Remember, we pray by folding our hands, bowing our heads, and closing our eyes. And I will say a line, and you pray it back to God. Are you ready? All right. Dear God, thank you so much for the joy that we have at Christmas. And the joy that we have in Jesus Christ. Help us to share that joy this year by telling others about you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.